in reality, Mike, uh, Mike has been with us his whole life. He has been a joy to us. Um, at first, it was a shock, um, to say the least. Here's a young man who has no basically arms or legs, and yet he's capable of doing just about anything he wanted to do. And this has been a surprise in his life and in our life um, continuously, really. Okay, can you turn the paper around so I can kind of focus in on it? Oh, that's good. It's a tremendous grief to see that little boy walking down the hall and trying to do something, trying with all his efforts to do something and struggling with it and immediately it just tears me up. The next, kind of, next joy, of course, is fulfilled when we see what he has accomplished and, uh, and with amazement, you know, all of the things that he's done. Donald and Floyd Olton, senior, mm -hmm. and um, I'm 92 years old. This is Don and Wayne, is it? Charlotte. And this is Charlotte. Charlotte Violet. She's a new addition to our family. <laughs> and this is Kirsty. All done with the eighth grade now. So you start over here at uh, Cerritos High, or not Cerritos, Cypress High in September. Where's Mikey? What? Does the doll play with you? Gotta be careful it doesn't knock you over. Oh, look at it, Mikey's got, Charlotte. He's got your phone. I remember going to the doctor, uh, and at that particular time, it, I think it was his first time he probably went there at that time. And um, we were ex and, and told that um, he'd never be able to walk once because he didn't have enough arms for the balance and so forth. came home and in about um, well, three or four weeks we were, went back and by that time he was walking up and down here all along. So we 
<laughs> showed the doctor what he was doing, and the doctor couldn't believe it. I am Sally Olson. Your full name is Sarah J. Olson. I'm confident when the time comes that uh, certain facilities will be available for him where he can uh, live quite independently. Concerns are, of course, for me at this time, and I'm still thinking he's my little boy still, you know, and I'm still thinking, well, what he gets locked in the room and can't get out and uh, uh, different things of this nature or what if, what if, what if. And so far in his lifetime, those what ifs have been answered. He sure does well on that. Then he started with um, computers, but games, electronic games. He almost beat most of the kids who came in here and so forth. Just be yourself, you're terrific. He's my hero. I call him that night all the time. He's my hero. The one thing I remembered so well, because of the man that was testing him, was in a wheelchair, and he had him type on a typewriter, and he typed 32 words a minute with his nose and his stubby, his stubby arm. So his nose was so young, and he had, and he didn't even make a make a mistake. The guy couldn't believe it. He just was absolutely floored, and and so was I. <laughs> <laughs> That's been him all along. Is that things happen that um, can hardly believe. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.